So we're standing in the south portico. Um, great place to gather before we go into the mosque, but it's also acting as a natural shade um, for the highly glazed south facade. Other features of this area, um, we've got the roof lights, which mimic what we've got inside. And again, we've got the same light fitting, which again mimics inside, but it's also providing emergency lighting. And you can see the trees behind us, which support the roof. And again, the same theme runs through the whole of the building. Okay, so what you see here um, is an ornate grill. Uh, and then behind the grill, you have a attenuator, which is also a luba, so that prevents water getting into the building. And then beyond that, there is a, a mechanical thermal damper, which lets fresh air into the building. Control of that damper is from temperature or CO2 um, within, the, within the actual main prayer hall space. So on the inside, there's also a decorative grill as well. And uh, it was uh, quite an unusual request to have such a grill, um, but it still works for us because it maintains a free area that we need to make the whole thing work. Internally, here you see the other decorative grill and behind here is the uh, thermal damper which we were talking about earlier. So as well as control of these dampers, um, temperature and CO2 also dictate another set of dampers at a high level which uh, again open according to temperature and, and CO2 levels within the space. Now if, the, uh, if those dampers on their own can't cope with the amount of fresh air that's needed to move through the space and there's also a fan in the roof like detail which will boost that ventilation rate. But most of the time it will just work by natural ventilation, air through the low level dampers, and we've got the stack effect, which is helped by the, the people which warm the air up, and then air is exhausted through the roof ventilation openings. Uh, one of the challenges of the project um, was that the site is very tight and the building takes up most of the site actually and then you, you have a basement underneath. So um, dealing with fire escape from the prayer hall which is around about a thousand person capacity um, meant that people have to escape around the outside of the building and yet all of the uh, these vents which could potentially let smoke out onto the fire escape these all had to be smoke rated and also all of the external lighting you can see around us that's all needs to be emergency rated as well. Yeah. 